up guys, it's Emily over from Complex. Right now we're at DJ Khaled's house. He's gonna take us through the We The Best workout where we talk keys to success. They want me to lose. That will never happen. You made it. <laughs> you made it. I gotta bend my knees. Cause okay. this belly right here is real, baby. <laughs> it's a lot of greatness. Right leg. Right. <laughs> See this? Kay. This right here is not my thing, you know? <laughs> you can hold on to me. We gonna survive. <laughs> We're gonna inspire the people. We ain't gonna play ourselves. You feel me? Let's do 50 jumping jacks. 50? And then 50 high knees. Let's do it. What are we doing first? Jumping jacks. Sorry. <laughs> I can do all this. Huh? I don't want you to do this. That's why I do it. This will be the best for me. You don't stop over here. If you think you're going to make a fool out of me, you crazy. See? See how you stop? I'm focused. It's called greatness. You want more? Come on. Come on. Come on. You need to Yes. Climb the mountain top. 30. This is like climbing. That mountaintop of success. What you think because I'm a little fatter than you? I can't do this. Don't ever play yourself. Okay, let's move on to the elliptical. This is my thing. <laughs> Ain't nobody the king of elliptical. DJ Khaled is the king. Okay, we'll see. I do what <laughs> some people use workout and eclipticals and running and walking to lose weight. Yeah. Of course I want to lose some weight, because I'm a sex symbol. I love the way I look. But I use this to Take the stress away. Make me feel better. For sure. No, it's a cold world. Bundle up in the summer. When it's hot, it's freezing. They don't want you to do this. Mm -mm. They don't want this office. They don't want this watch. <laughs> they don't want this Yeezy. They don't want this machine for me to get better. Notice how I said they. But we love it. <laughs> yes. You know what I'm saying? We the best. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, I motivate myself. I start talking to myself like, they want me to lose. That will never happen. God forbid I put some DJ Khaled music on. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna be on some. Get it. The key to success is the eye. Some people don't have the eye. When you have the eye, you could accomplish anything. Only the great ones know about cloth talk. What is cloth talk? I don't know what this means. Special cloth alert. You're looking at him. Jay-Z's special cloth. Michael Jackson's special cloth. Okay. DJ Khaled's special cloth. What about me? You special cloth. Okay, perfect. Just always know, you're looking at the line. So now we're gonna do our last workout. Yeah. Some squats. How many do you usually do? When I do it, I try to do like 20. Um, I do it usually after I do the, the running. Um, when I had a trainer before, he tells me that, you know, it, it's like your legs, mm -hmm. and at the same time as when you start losing weight, it shapes. Yep. You know, start making the vibe. Yeah. You know what I mean? Sometimes, we want the vibe. Yeah, the vibe, you know what I mean? <laughs> Nike or Adidas? Both. No, you have to choose one. I don't have to do anything I don't want to do. I do what I want to do, baby. And I said both. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> So we just wrapped up our last workout, Khaled. Are we in war ready shape yet? <laughs> Maybe we have to be war ready even when we're not in shape. <laughs> we have to be. Now we're gonna <laughs> go meditate. So now show me how you meditate because I don't do it often. I don't really know how. How does it work? Give thanks for your blessings and ask for more blessings to protect yourself, your family, you know what I'm saying? And, and pray for, for uh, nothing but forward, you know, forwardness. Meaning as in, we don't never want to go backwards. We want to move forward. Mm -hmm. We want to move with positive vibes. We want our families to be protected. You know what I'm saying? We want more blessings and we appreciate the blessings we have. And we thank God for life and our health and, and, and how we feel. And even when times is hard. And give thanks to the workout. No, give thanks to the workout. Give thanks for the energy that we can work out. You know what I'm saying? It's just a vibe. I'm not afraid to show my love. I'm not afraid, I love you. This is a time where you just take a deep breath and just give thanks. So overall, what did you think of the workout? I loved it, man. You um, feel good? I feel good and I, and I learned some new new workouts. Me too. You know what I'm saying? And, and Thank you so much for inviting us into your home and showing oh, we the best workout. It's all love, baby. It's all love, baby. Until next time. I appreciate you.
Okay, let's have a race with it. Okay, are you sure? Yeah. Okay, one, two, three. Two. <laughs> okay, never mind. <laughs> What's up guys, for Complex, I'm Emily Oberg and you're watching Get Sweaty. Today my special guest is Steve Aoki. We can switch places, you could be a DJ, I could become like the new fit guy taking over your show. <laughs> We're gonna do a few CrossFit style workouts and see if we can make it through it. Let's go. So right now we're gonna do a three minute warm up on the True Form treadmill, and we're really gonna use our hamstrings for this. Are you ready? Yeah, let's okay, go. Let's go. I take little naps everywhere I go. Like even for this interview, yeah. I had to take a nap. Like and how I was long? From five minutes to twenty minutes. Okay. I swear they're they're better than any caffeine. So what other tips do you have for like running on no sleep? Running. So running. Even if it's like a one k, just to get your blood pumping. Yeah. Like it's kind of hard to talk and do this, but. <laughs> okay, so this is our next warm up. We're gonna do 10 kettlebell swings and three rounds of that. All right, let's go. Okay. So um, I want to talk to you about the kind of new generation of like the aux cord DJ. I like someone who just like puts their Spotify playlist on and like calls himself a DJ. When I first started DJing, the yeah. mixing. I'd like I'd bring crates of records, but right. I didn't know how to actually mix yet. And then I learned how to mix in the process of me DJing, but I was selecting. So I, right. I, you probably called me a selector okay. when I first started. You've worked with a lot of different artists and now you're producing. Can you kind of talk about what you're working on next? Yeah, so I, this year I've been in the studio, not just working on my own album, which I'm finishing. I'm also working with other artists and their, their projects. And uh, that's, that's like the evolution of my music. Three. <laughs> so since you are like always in the club and probably surrounded by drunk people, like don't you find it kind of annoying and difficult? Yeah, I don't really hang out. I'm not the guy I that guess, hangs but you're there. The, yeah, but I'm, I'm generally just playing. Okay. And when I'm doing my thing, people don't really bother me. Except if, unless like some stumbling person comes in and tries to right. do a selfie. But the worst is like, when I'm they like working. pull your headphones out. That's crazy. I've never seen that. Yeah, that happens like, yo, can you play this song? I'm like in the middle of the, you know. I don't know what to do. I was confused. I wanted to talk to you about the pressure that you have because in your doc, I think it's really clear that you are kind of under a lot of pressure, whether it's from yourself or a family, fans. Like, who do you feel the most pressure from? The, the biggest pressure was to, to make something of my life to show my dad I'm, right. you know, that I could do it on my own. The way I think about stuff is more project oriented. So mm -hmm. I'm like trying to finish these large projects at a time. Like I never had a top 10 radio record. I've worked with such amazing artists that have, mm -hmm. they've had like top 10 set. I hope I can get there, you know? Definitely. So I'm, I'm working hard on that too. Okay, let's do a push press, 10 reps, 15? Okay. Yeah, yeah, let's do it. Okay, let's do 10. So what do you want your legacy to be? My legacy? Uh, doing push presses with Emily Oberg <laughs> on Get Sweaty. The easiest, most generic answer would be my music. This is what I do. Do you ever see yourself stopping what you're doing now? I could become like the new fit guy taking over your show. <laughs> right now it's music. Right now it's like playing in all these amazing cities and countries mm -hmm. to all these incredible people all around the world. That's pretty exciting. I have like the life. Okay, so now we're gonna move on to rowing, our final workout. I love rowing. Basically you pull back. Usually you do a full extension with your legs. So you're using your legs to pull back and then you do like the, the arm, yeah. So what are some of your like dieting tips? Like, do you eat really well? Are you conscious of that? Uh, I, I don't even eat any red meat or pork anymore. What's like your cheat food? My cheat food? Reese's peanut butter cups. So what's next for you? If you can do a timeless record, that's the goal, you know?
how did you like the workout? I got sweaty. Exactly. Which is the goal, right? Yeah. Talking and working out is definitely a first for I me. know. It yeah, looks it's, easy. It's really hard. It's coordination. It's kind of, mm -hmm. it's like playing video games, you know? You ready? Ready? One, two, three. for Complex, I'm Emily Oberg and you're watching Get Sweaty. Today we're here at Tone House on the Upper East Side with my special guest, Prince Royce. Yeah. Let's go. Let's go. Okay, so we're just gonna stretch our hamstrings a little bit. Are you flexible? I'm not flexible that much. I'm not, not flexible at all. Well, we can work on it. I think I have a shoulder problem. Like my shoulders don't stretch as much. You should really, I mean, it helps you do your workouts way better. So... See, I can't even reach right now. <laughs> it's okay, we'll get there. So you're obviously super busy. So how do you find time to work out? Like when, when you're on tour or something? When I'm on tour, depending, if I'm really trying to go out, I'd take a trainer with me and we go like in the mornings. You know, even though you're on tour, you actually have a lot of time. Cause if you think about it, it's just like the show at night. You know what I mean? You really got most of the day to like do whatever. So, so we just try to work out twice a day. Like before the show and then after the show, depending. Oh, wow. Okay, so now we're gonna do some rope work um, with lunges and we're gonna switch sides. Cool. Let's go. Oh. <laughs> okay, I'm over this. Okay, so we're gonna use the ab dolly and we're gonna do some ab rollouts. Center, right and left. Cool. So your fifth studio album is coming out when? Uh, it's on pre-order right now, but it comes out the 24th. Okay, and what can we expect from it? What kind of vibes, what kind of influences? Well, the genre is bachata, is in Spanish. Bachata is from Dominican Republic. Right. It's like a sensual, tropical rhythm. Okay, now we're gonna finish off with the plank challenge. Are you ready? All right. Let's do it. Okay, so every episode we do a plank challenge. Um, so far, Austin Mahone is the winner with a minute and 31 seconds. Do you think you can beat him? We won't try. Let's try. Okay, it's gonna be a side plank. So prop your feet on top of each other. Okay, ready? one, two, three, go. Okay, so you said you're gonna gift some lucky winners a date, but you're currently in a relationship, right? I'm in a relationship with my friends. Okay. Yeah, we won't be on the date. So are you single? I'm trying to do this plank right now. <laughs> um, there's a special person out there. I can't say I'm fully single. So you're not single? <sighs> Hold on, I'm losing grip for real. It's not, it's not that I'm a fall, I'm just losing grip. Okay, get your grip. Oh, hell no! <laughs> No, no, I was losing grip. Okay, so you didn't beat the record, but it's okay. I did like 45 seconds. We had a pretty, 41. If I would have, it was 41? If I would have known, I would have done my practice. But anyway, we got a good workout in. Thanks, guys. <laughs>